Uh, so next team here we have in Chicago is Domination. They have built us a real-time multiplayer game based on the board game Risk. Uh, it's got a complex UI with uh, multi-phase gameplay and a custom-built artificial intelligence engine that lets you play in single-player mode. How about it, Damien? Hi, everyone. My name is Damien, and these are my teammates, Brianna, Zach, and Christian. Together, we built Domination, a turn-based game inspired by the board game Risk. It features real-time multiplayer and artificial intelligence. The objective of the game is to capture all of the territories on the board. Uh, you do this by managing your units and battling your opponent's territories. Uh, there are three phases to each player's turn. There's the allotment phase, where you can place new units on the board. The amount of units you obtain is based on how many territories and landmarks that you own. Next is the attack phase, where you attempt to take over as many enemy territories as you wish, as long as you have more than one unit to attack with. Last is the fortification phase, where you can move one army of units to an adjacent territory that you own to secure your position. So to get things started, you can either make a new game, or you could just start a new, start start a new game, or make a new, um, join a game or make a new game with your own custom settings. And I'm going to pass pass it off to Zach, and he's going to talk about game mechanics. Thank you. The game of Risk is about expanding an empire's borders as far as possible. Thus, it's uh, the design of the board that the way the players traverse it is a main focus mechanically. We opted for a hex-based grid over squares to give the players more flexibility in their movement as they would have six neighbors instead of four. Additionally, every game takes place on a uniquely generated board. Before the game is made, a certain number of hexes are voided out and spread across the map uh, in order to create a varied landscape. Uh, one issue we found is that through pure random generation, oftentimes spaces were isolated, making the game effectively unwinnable. Our solution implemented a pathfinding algorithm. We would check a single hex, and then branching out through its neighbors and neighbors of neighbors, checking to make sure that it is connected to every other hex on the board. Uh, additionally, we made a landmark system in which certain spaces confer special benefits on the player, encouraging them to protect their existing strongholds as they are pushing their boundaries outwards. Now here's Brianna to talk about AI. Thank you, Zach. One aspect of the game that we were really excited to implement was the option of playing against a competitive AI opponent. Our first approach was to use a minimax algorithm to evaluate each potential game state and determine the next best move, but we quickly realized that the time complexity involved with evaluating every possible risk move was beyond the scope of this project. We instead chose to use a genetic algorithm, which allowed us to evaluate different, test, uh, different playing strategies against each other and evolve a more performant player over time. Some strategies that we considered, for instance, were a more aggressive strategy, which would attack more frequently, versus a more defensive strategy, which, is, which would seek to minimize unit loss. We could then evaluate the performance of these strategies, with those that were more successful being more likely to pass on to future generations. All in all, we tested over half a million simulations across 2,000 generations, arriving at the player that you'll find in the final game. Christian's going to talk about some of the challenges that we faced during this process. Thank you, Brianna. The most important thing, the single most important thing that we learned over the course of this project is that team communication and the ability, the ability to iterate really quickly is crucial when you're developing under a deadline. Now, the sheer amount of calculations that our, uh, our artificial intelligence algorithm had to run became a major constraint that we actually had to design around in both our game design and our game mechanics. We also used, we also used Firebase, uh, a NoSQL database that gave us a lot of flexibility in terms of how we're storing our data, but also required us to be more cognizant of doing our own data validation. Now, moving forward, we'd like to expand and optimize our AI with different attack strategies. We'd also like to implement a matchmaking system. We've already built out ranking, but this way you'll be matched with players of similar skill level. But you don't have to wait for us to build those out. You can try us right now at domination-squad.herokuapp.com. Thank you. I was happy to um, I was happy to see that this team built out a version of Risk, um, a game that actually uh, is you know holds a holds a soft place in my heart uh, from from many years ago, um, and now a lot of people prefer Settlers and other games, but I really like it. I also um, I also really am, am curious to uh, to play the AI. Uh, that's a yeah. that's a really nice step that they took to um, implement that in a very interesting way. Um, 
All right. If you like risk and none of these newfangled board games, you can vote for uh, you can vote for this team by liking the post and liking the pinned comment. Um, I agree with you that I think I have a soft spot for risk because um, all you have to do is take over Australia and hold off Siam, and you know it's like half the game. Um, Actually, I, I will disagree with that strategy. Um, I would say you got to go for North America first. Um, North America. It only no, has three borders way. and five armies. <laughs> Australia all the way. The um, I, no, that's cool. The AI, I uh, that they use machine algorithm to do the AI instead of the, instead of Minimax. I'm I'm curious to see kind of the different parameters they use to to tune it. And uh, it sounds like it sounds like it would create a pretty aggressive. It's just like the chance to win this battle is my reason to attack. So yeah, be curious to try it out. By the way, your choice of Australia tells me a lot about your um. Your kind of business strategy yeah so. hunker down <laughs> <laughs> hunker down and beat off siam that's it <laughs> okay and then take off asia and then ukraine is not weak <laughs> that's all you need to know